Support your leader. Number 10 is you affirm others on the team. Regardless whether they hit a home run or they strike out, they need affirmation. Well, especially when they fail, they need affirmation. When you affirm others on your team, you're being a team player. Number 11, this is a big one. Take initiative. Teamwork is about taking ownership and jumping in when needs arise. Don't wait to be asked in order to serve. Any volunteer that takes initiative on my team is a blessed leader in our ministry. Number 12, this is a neat sign of teamwork. It's when you develop parent relationships. You see, you express your teamwork when you build relationships with the parents of students in your group. Don't wait for the point person in your ministry to do all the parent work. Talk to parents on the phone when you call a student. Seek to meet them at church and other special events. See, parents want and need a special touch from the youth ministry. I know that in my ministry, if parents had to wait to talk to me, they would be very disappointed. My volunteers express their teamwork when they meet parents after programs and talk to them and help meet their personal needs. Parents need and expect ministry from the youth ministry leadership, and you are the perfect person to help in that expectation. Number 13, become a student. Just by the fact that you're listening to this tape tells me you're a leader. A team player will seek to learn new skills. For example, if you're struggling with a difficult student, learn about this student. Don't throw up your arms and give up. Buy a book on discipline. Read an article on personality behaviors or try to implement some new skills into your leadership. When you force yourself to learn new skills you'll stretch yourself and you will improve your team and the last the 14th is learn some new skills learn some new skills recently i i I had this idea because i went running with a friend on his jogging route it was a new route to me and it caused me to run slower i wasn't used to it you see when i run on my route i'm fast because I'm used to it. I know, I know all the turns. I know all the cutbacks. And I run it every day. But on this guy's route, I was slow. He had bigger hills. We had to jump creeks. I was sore the next day because I used different muscles I hadn't used before. But as I ran with him more, I noticed that my pace picked up. And I was being conditioned for more variety in my running. Not only was I quicker on his route, but I became quicker on my original route. And I enjoyed the variety. You see, I believe this principle works the same in youth ministry. When you and I try to develop some new skills, we will become more valuable and a stronger member of your team. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you tried something new, where you learned a new skill, where you did something new as a youth worker? For example, if you're someone that doesn't teach, maybe the new skill would be to raise your hand and say, hey, let me teach at that program. Or if you are a teacher, when was the last time you did something new like using a game in your teaching or an object lesson or a creative teaching technique? Maybe learning a new skill would be to plan the next retreat. Maybe a new skill would be to talk to students that aren't the type of students you would normally talk to. Maybe you need to try to answer a question on your own before asking someone else about it. Whatever it is, try to learn some new skills. Well, as you look at these different areas, I've listed 14 things that might get you thinking. I want to encourage you to stay away from comparing yourself to other volunteers on your team. You don't have to be like others on your team. Yeah, that's one of the keys of a good team is variety. God loves variety and he uses variety. If all the volunteers on your youth ministry team wanted to play the same position, it wouldn't be healthy. Allow God to strengthen the person he's created you to be. And don't worry about being like someone else. We see this in 1 Corinthians. In the message paraphrase, it says, A body isn't just a single part blown up into something huge. A body is all the different but similar parts arranged and functioning together. I like that. And by the way, there's that word again, together. That's teamwork.
Together, everyone achieves more. I hope these few minutes have given you something worthwhile to think about and that you've been given some ideas that might help you in your pursuit to be a team player. Remember, teamwork isn't easy. It's not easy on the sports field. It's not easy in the corporate world. And it's not easy in the church. It takes work on everyone's part. But the result of teamwork will be a healthy youth ministry. The result will be changed lives. And God will get the glory for the living example of love your youth ministry team has become. It's fun to play on a winning team. Because when you're part of a winning team, together everyone achieves more. God bless you as you strengthen your role on your team.